This is a recording of Dr. Tom Rizzo Live for Sunday, January 9, 2011. You can listen to Dr. Tom Rizzo Live every Sunday from noon to 1 p.m. right here on 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rizzo Live. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizzo. Today I'm not live in studio, but I am going to give you some information, some data that I think that you're going to find extremely important. And as a matter of fact, it's an invitation. I'm going to invite you to a special class. This coming Wednesday is going to be a very special day in our office. I am your host this Wednesday on our continuing education program at the Result Center for Healing. And we're going to be talking about ageless health. Health is a do-it-yourself program. You know that's the title of my new book. And we're going to cover the book. We're going to cover those elements of the book, the applications of the book, very, very specifically. It's an opportunity to really get a hands-on, information-packed night to go home and to be able to change your life. And I'd like you to be my guest. If you'd like to attend this coming Wednesday evening's program, give us a call at 703 698 7 one one seven. That's seven zero three six nine eight seven one one seven. Tell my staff that you'd like to attend. Please remember that even though this is a freebie for you, a courtesy, we do require reservations. Uh, lecture room is limited, and once that is filled. That's it. Unfortunately, there's not going to be any place for anybody to sit. So if you'd like to attend, please call us today at 703-698-7117. I will be your presenter, and we're going to be talking about ageless health. I want to give you as much data, as much information as I possibly can, so you can start 2011 the best way possible, so you can begin to apply the concepts that your health is really in your control, it's in your hands. And we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk a little bit about the triad of health, means structural, chemical, emotional pieces of what happens to you. You have to realize that no matter what the condition is, no matter how sick you've been or how loss of energy you have, or contrarily, how well you've been and how energetic you've been, it has to do with those three sides. When we talk about structure, we're talking about all of those things that happen to the hard components of your body, your muscles, the vertebrae, the spinal segments, the organ systems, the fascia, all the things you can put your hands on. And we're looking for evidence of injury, things that may have happened to you over a period of time, things that, you know, that you're aware of, like an accident, a fall, a blow, a punch, or something of that nature. But sometimes we're not aware of the little things posture patterns at work, the way we sleep, the way we sit and watch television. You know, you've seen the the commercials where you look like a couch potato. Well, truly, that is not very supportive. The shoes you wear, the dental work, the braces that you've had on, all of those things count, and they can cause problems over a period of years. Many of you are athletes, and you're working out on a regular basis, and you're stretching, and you're doing things well within the parameters that they should be. That's a great thing. But some of you work out and you think you're helping yourself, but you're taking it to an extreme that is not supportive. Or you're doing things in your life that are not as good as they should be. So when you add the stress of a workout, which should be a good workout, now your body takes that as a bad stress. So we want to distinguish those things. We want to be able to put those together and show you how even if you haven't done anything in years, that you can start step-by-step and begin to reverse the process very slowly. We're not going to try to make an Olympian athlete out of you. We want to make you an athlete in your own house, an athlete in your own workplace, an athlete in your life, because that's what it takes to survive well in this very specific, very remarkable ways that you can turn that around. We've been trying to educate our patients for many years. I've been at this for 35 years, and I can tell you one specific thing. Where you are right now is because of everything that's happened to you, everything that you decided or not decided to do. It truly is that capacity. And we're going to talk about the chemical side of the triangle. The chemical side of the triangle is really straight up. It's all those things that affect your body from the outside in. Everything that you eat that perhaps you shouldn't be eating, things that you need more of that you don't get enough of, all the electrical fields that are around us today from computer screens to cell towers, the preservatives, the additives, the uh, runoffs from the farms, all those things that get into the water systems. If you've been reading the newspapers and listening to the press, you know that there are animals out there that no longer can reproduce. There are fish, male fish, that are carrying eggs. How does that happen? It has to be environmentally triggered. So why is that? What's going on? And how, more importantly, can we prevent that from affecting ourselves? You've heard me talk about the hormonal levels of male and females in in our society. Well, here's something that's very specific. 
guys, particularly if you know if you're young, you have to be aware. We know today that young men who are in their 30s have the level of, uh, of of sperm count that men did when they were 60 years old in the 50s. That's significant. I mean, there is a normal rhythm to uh, hormonal function, but we should never lose it completely. But here we have we have young people who are now becoming significantly debilitated. The emotional side of the triangle, straight up. You know, here's something that has to be looked at very carefully because the body doesn't know the difference between something that physically actually happens to you in your environment or something that you think about and you emotionalize. It's the same thing. It's the same process. Physiologically, your body reacts the same way. You know, what you think is what you produce. What goes into your body in an emotional state is reproduced in a physical level. You have to be very careful how your communication works to yourself, let alone to anybody else. If you say things, you know, you use emphasis on them, you will evoke different types of physiology in your body. Oh my God, don't, you know, don't do that. You'll give me a heart attack. You're a pain in my whatever. You know, pretty soon the body begins to believe you and it begins to produce those end products, those end symptom presentations. I have no idea how uh, you look at your life, but I do know that if you don't look at it properly, if you don't look at it the way you need to, meaning that you are responsible for everything that happens to you, that you're destined for something other than what your genetic potential is. Health is a do-it-yourself program, and we're going to cover that this coming Wednesday evening in our office, and I would like to have you as my guest. It starts at 7.30. We're going to go for about probably an hour and a half, and I'm going to give you a time frame for questions and answers, and I'll stay there as long as you want and answer your questions. So, Take this opportunity. Join me this Wednesday, 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. And tell my staff that you'd like to attend this Wednesday evening in our continuing education program. Now, we're talking about ageless health. And let's take it through a paradigm. Let's talk about how this really unfolds. We talked about the triad of health, structural, chemical, emotional. And then they affect body systems. Now, there are five body systems that we look at in integrative care. We look at the nervous system. It's made up of your brain, your spinal cord, and the peripheral nerves, and then all the little attachments. We look at the blood supply. We look at how the waste disposal system, I call it AAA garbage disposal, works. That's your lymphatic system. It clears out all kinds of stuff in, in your body. We look at the movement of spinal fluid. The spinal fluid is produced in your brain, and as you breathe in and out, it's pumped up and down your spinal system. And then the last is your energy field. It's your acupuncture system. And those pieces are what run your body. And as long as they're working well and they're not being overdone to, if you will, by the structural chemical insults and emotional insults, then your body works at a very high level. And the more that you tweak it upwards, the more productive it can be. And, you know, here's the key. No matter how old you are, no matter how old you are, your body is extremely forgiving. As long as you're breathing, your cells are reproducing. And as long as your cells are reproducing, you can change almost anything that you want to change. doesn't make any difference what it is. doesn't make any difference what condition you're in. So why don't we start today? Why don't we start and begin to change the pattern? We're going to talk a little bit today about gallbladder, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, inflammatory reactions. We're going to talk a little bit about how acid affects the system, but we're going to talk about it in the context of the things that we just talked about, the triad of health, the five factors, and we're going to cover that much more in depth when I will host an evening that I think that you'll really be excited about. So join me this Wednesday evening, the 12th of January at 7.30 in our office at the Rizal Center for Healing. We're located just off the National Capital Beltway, probably about a quarter of a mile. We're in the Red Cross building. Give us a call, 703-698-7117. We're talking about the triad of health. We're going to be talking about my book, Asia's Health 101, and Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program, in the context of what we're talking about today. So it's an exciting evening. Please join me. Gallbladder problems, very abundant in this uh, this country. People eat things that they shouldn't, and they blow up like a, a balloon. Why does that happen? Well, the gallbladder is nothing more than a catch basin. That means it's a receptor for the production of bile from the liver. So all of this stuff starts in the bile, doesn't start in the gallbladder, the bile and so forth, the end product goes to the gallbladder. And when your body identifies fat coming through the intestinal tract, then the job of the gallbladder is to squeeze this bile into the intestinal tract to help break up 
fat, and it does it along with enzymes from the pancreas. And that's, as they say, is another story that we can talk about. But the gallbladder itself causes us a lot of problems. So we eat, the fat goes in, doesn't break it up, the gallbladder starts wanting to work, but we get all this bloating and distension, and we don't feel good, and we get headaches and so forth. Pretty soon we get constipated, and those are all symptoms of gallbladder dysfunction. Did you know when you're constipated, it's usually a result of the gallbladder? Did you know when your body uh, intestinal tract isn't working the way it's supposed to? That's often the gallbladder. Well, there are different types of things that happen, and it's not just stones in the gallbladder. You can have stones, and that ultimately can be the end product, and we can have cholesterol stones, we can have calcium stone buildup, and there's a way of identifying both, but there's also ways of reversing that. There's several risk factors that you need to know about. There's dietary factors that may increase your risk. They're pretty obvious. They're a matter of making sure that you don't eat things that are loaded up with saturated fats and trans fats. And uh, then we go to sugars, and then we go to certain types of beans. And all of those things uh, can add to your predisposition. But here's one that you don't know about, and here's one that you really need to be aware that it can cause all kinds of problems, food allergies and black pepper. Black pepper is highly inflammatory to the gallbladder, very lousy uh, product for anybody to eat on a very regular basis, and many of you just take that pepper shaker and just load your food up till it looks black. Well, guess what you're doing? You're causing yourself a major, major potential problem with the gallbladder. So put the, uh, the black pepper aside, and let's look at food allergies. Well, gallbladder disease often is a failure to recognize food allergies and has resulted in many, many unnecessary gallbladder removals. And there's, by the way, there's ways of fixing the gallbladder. We'll talk a little bit about that. But here's what we got. We're talking about the chemical side of the triangle. We're talking about you eating things that shouldn't be there. The gallbladder can be a target that is one of the primary targets for any kind of allergic response within the body. And, and the studies are there. This, it's not just Tom Rosell telling you this. It's the fact of life. And it causes all kinds of spontaneous reactions within the body. And they're called allergic response patterns. Some of them are slow response patterns, but ultimately you end up with something called a choleocystitis. That means gallbladder inflammatory disease. And then when that takes place, the inflammation gets out of control. Now, I want you to think about that for a little bit. Realize that uh, you have control over this, and as we've said before, your health is a do-it-yourself program. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell doing a special program for you because this Wednesday evening, January 12th, I'm going to be your host in our office at the Rosell Center for Healing. We're going to be talking talking about ageless health. Health is a do-it-yourself program, which many of you know is the title of my new book. Go to our website at rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com. You can find the exact times and dates of all of our presentations. Give our office a call at 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Join me. This Wednesday, January the 12th, in our office at 7.30 p.m., you must make reservations, otherwise you won't have a seat, and I don't want to say no to you. We're talking about the triad of health. We're talking about structural, chemical, emotional triggers to your health, because those are the only things that can cause you any kind of problematic anything. We're talking about the five systems that they affect, the nervous system, blood supply, that means all the things that carry your blood in and out of the body, the lymphatic system, which is your waste disposal system, the movement of spinal fluid produced in your brain and moves up and down your spine as you breathe in and out, and then lastly, the energetic system, acupuncture system. So let's talk a little bit about gallbladder. We began to mention that it's a catch basin. It's something that dumps bile into the system. It begins to break fat up, and then when it becomes non-functional for a lot of reasons, it doesn't work, and you have gallbladder symptoms. You have bloating, you got headache, you have pain, you have uh, even shoulder pain, and it can get really bad. It can even go to a place of infection. It can be perforated. It can end up gangrenous. But way before that happens, there's a lot of things that you can do about it. Did you know about 15-plus percent of people suffer from gallbladder problems? At least, and those are the ones that are recognizable. Those are the ones that end up in the hospital in the emergency rooms. Well, there's uh, some data out there that says over 50% of you suffer from some sort of gallbladder dysfunction at some point of your life. That's a whole lot of people. 
So what does that mean? That means that we're eating things, we're doing things, we're exposed to things that are causing our body problem. Now remember that every system in the body, whether it's the gallbladder or whether it's your heart or whether it's your liver or whether it's your kidney, have multiple inputs. It has blood supply, it has lymph, it has influences from the nervous system, it has influences from the acupuncture system.